Jesus Christ, it's all about the Word and the words we choose to use to describe the world around us. But if you want to know the truth, you've got to accept the reality that in reality we are finite beings, born to die, and that's no lie, regardless of what you believe. This is the season for those who believe that a man can be a God and the Word all at the same time. In reality, that's impossible if you want to know the truth and understand the meaning of the words. Man is a being just like you and me, and it includes women and children also. We are beings born of a union of sorts between two physical realities. The conceptual reality that in reality is your life is the result. There was a time when you weren't here, and there will be a time when you'll be gone. That is what it means to be a human being, being all you can be. God, on the other hand, is another thing altogether different, if you take the time to think it through. This thing we call the deity, in reality, is the entity I call Allah. The divine reality that transcends both space and time, the creator of the seen and unseen, that nothing can compare to. All we do as human beings, being human, is to manipulate reality. There's the physical, which can be seen, heard, or touched, and the conceptual, which cannot. Which brings us to the words we use when we choose to speak to each other. Some of our words describe the physical, while others describe the conceptual. The meaning of which may be different between the speaker and listener. The sounds in reality are the same from the source to the receiver, but what each perceives may be different, while the truth is, it's actually the same. There's a reason for all this to be happening, and it has to do with time and space. The place in space and time where you've existed has exerted an influence over you. The way you think and what you believe is the result of where you've been all this time. This is the way it's always been at the beginning of human life. Equality is a reality that many don't recognize unless they reflect on what it all means to be a human being. The truth is that we're all here just trying to survive and live through another day as we try to pursue our own happiness. This in reality is how we're all equal, but in reality we're all quite different also. Although all that we need has been provided by God, many want more than that. What they desire is a heaven on earth without knowing what it's all about. They'll do what it takes to manipulate reality in the hope they can change the truth. What it takes is responsibility, if you want to know the truth for all you think and do. You can't delegate the responsibility to somebody else and expect to get what you desire. That's the secret and the nature of the beast, whether you like it or not. In reality, the truth can hurt sometimes. That's just the way it goes. You've got to learn to take the good with the bad and use your words wisely also. Understand what you say may not be what other people hear as the sounds pass through their ears and enters the confines of their minds. What they perceive is based on their place in time and space also, which in reality hasn't been the same as yours. But the truth is that we're all human beings with all the same basic needs, regardless what you believe. Just a few words and some food for thought for all of you this holiday season. In reality, it's not my holiday though, even though I'm virtually Jesus Christ. The truth is that I'm a Muslim dude who tries to abide all the time. I've been labeled Mr. Jesus 2.3 by the International Fellowship of Christians and Jews, and that's no lie at all. That silly rabbi tried playing tricks on me in the hope of getting some change. He got nothing on me, I'll let you know, and that's the honest-to-God truth. In reality, I've got nothing else to say on the subject, so I'll close this epistle for now. Peace be with those of you who know what the truth is, and may the rest of you, and your loved ones too, live long and prosper also. Just don't forget to remember this truth, that you can't take anything with you when you're gone. With an everlasting love, now and forever always, virtually yours, Jesus Christ. <laughs>